so the guided exercise that I want to bring forth uh, during this time is called What's Calling Me Now? And the purpose of this exercise is for you to be able to hear on different levels, whether through noise or silence, uh, what core themes might start to come up for you that will play a part in your emerging endeavors. Now, normally there's like a dual purpose to this process where the intention would be about knowing how to hear what's calling you in the present, you know, even in a noisy world, because especially in business, I mean, we online world, we're really inundated with, with quite a bit uh, constantly. And sometimes you don't even know um, what's really calling you at the moment or, or even really know your own voice, so to speak. But, you know, within this, of being able to have some noise and then also see if through a time of silence, if you get the same messages that you would, are you able to hear better, um, you know, through the processes. But what I'm going to focus on during this time is really leveraging both aspects, even if something different comes up uh, during the exercises. Since there are five, well, the rhythm or flesh, you know, the, the five of you. What I decided to do was I'm going to actually have Tom Tom to be the witnessing factor of this process. And meaning he's going to be sort of an observation mode to receive what's going to be most relevant for him, while the rest of you are actually going to be fully engaged by way of interaction with the, the exercise. So, to jump sort of right into this, at this moment, I'm going to ask that uh, King Joseph <laughs> and Queen Renee pull up each other's LinkedIn profiles. So Joseph, you go to LinkedIn and pull up Queen Renee's profile, and then Queen Renee, you will go and pull up Joseph's profile. Okay. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to actually ask for King Rob and Queen Gina to be on the listening in and tune in to the question that I'm going to ask, what's calling me now? So when I do ask this, once I ask that question, both King Joseph and Queen Renee will start reading each other's profiles aloud. And while they're reading, um, what will happen is King Rob and Queen Renee, they'll just keep tuning in to the what's calling me now frequency, and then write down whatever uh, you know comes to mind during that time. And afterward, I'm going to have King Rob and Queen Gina then to pull up each other's profiles and read them aloud while Joseph, King Joseph, excuse me, and Queen Renee are in the reverse roles of listening through the noise. And so at the end of the exercise, there's going to be a time of silence where I'm going to re-ask the question to everyone and then have them to write down what comes up. And obviously, just like the last exercise, if nothing comes up, that's fine. And, and then we'll have some discussion around uh, this you know, before we move forward into the rest of the call. So before we actually get into this, I just, if I need to clarify anything, just let me know. Um, if not, is everyone ready? So just the, the about section, you want us to read the about section? I'm sorry, the, the summary. Yes, the summary. Yeah. I, I apologize. Yeah, I, I was not clear on that. Uh, yes, okay. the, um, the about. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. just the summary part. Yes, mm -hmm, the about. So if there's nothing else, we can go ahead and get started uh, with that. Is everybody ready? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as I ask the question, <laughs> about maybe a second after, a second or two after, then King Joseph and King, Queen Renee, if you would go ahead and start reading uh, the profile. So right now this question is being asked for King Rob and Queen Gina, but also with King Tom Tom um, as the witnesser. It's, uh, it's actually being asked to him too. So. Ask yourself the question in your mind, what's calling me now?
Okay, you all can start reading. Okay. As the power zone meet the multiplicity mound builder, business I owners and executives who are ready to our break through to their greater inner leader and activate the, the magic the in their power zone. The days of only serving in one or two core areas business the results and make it an ever evolving marketplace. How we make our impact in income through my this era, programs, speaking, book, and partnerships multiple, based uh, on my six power zone principles, and I have inspired thousands of leaders to leave their comfort zones to, to live and perform from and their power zones order to where they turn professional their and leadership into their greatness the profit center. We must be In like business and life. Build our from this place, from this place, the business can finally become the vehicle it was meant to be. Residual income and they can tap more. into their significant why creating a more profound legacy. I am living proof of this outcome. My story is one of courage and divine moments. This led me to my current life path of helping others find their leadership voice and more profound purpose to make significant changes and improve their quality of life. Who is our ideal client? I have executives who want to advance their careers so they can make a greater impact, provide the tools, coaching, and, and guidance sales, coaching I needed to identify what I really wanted I am a and what author, was holding me back. And also cross business in the owners of real estate, who would like travel, their business to finally be the vehicle it was meant to be awareness and development has been a profound, one of the great has been a tremendous factor to share in my helping us of grow being into the, chief the largest and highest Mounders producing mortgage team in the state. Um, others build lives Speaking worth events. living. Members it's of your organization will be inspired to leave their comfort zone and building. become positive agents if you're of change ready to start in their your business, in their lives, in their business. Uh, Everyone journey was ready. Or in Interested See more in success stories any and why assistance in any areas of my experience. Feel free to contact zone. me here on LinkedIn or w my email at jjonesmoundbuilders.ws. Well, that was synchronicitous. I okay. know, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and yours looks so long. I thought yours was longer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. And you're going to see the purpose of why I had that to uh, happen. So at this moment, um, if King Rob and Queen Gina can pull themselves together from, <laughs> from that, <laughs> that um, I'm going to now ask that the roles be reversed and just wait for my cue, Queen uh, Renee and King Joseph for me to ask you the question and and then also of course Tom Tom in in the witnessing uh, stand uh, you know so to speak so King Rob and Queen Gina let me know when you both have each other's profiles pulled up um I've got Rob pulled up but I can't find the about section which is weird oh, interesting Link LinkedIn's been weird. It's just, I, you, I've just you don't see it? Very, I've got his very short two-liner, and then it goes into highlights in terms of the connections. Oh, Did you on. click on the more? There's a more button. Yeah. No, I found it now. It was, uh, it was uh, hidden. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I just couldn't find it. Okay, all right. So if you both have each other's profiles pulled up, <laughs> um, just say you, got, you, you both got them. Yeah, I'm, I've got it. So. Okay, you've got it. Great. Okay, so for Queen Renee and King Joseph, what's yes. <laughs> calling me now? Okay, Queen Gina and Queen Rob, you can begin reading. Rob Deptford. Teaching leaders to create brand building online video. The gardener, enlightened leadership um, thousand followers. National TV commentator, panel. politics and profits show. He provides with content strategy, genuine, content genuine marketing, media. social media marketing. What I can do for you. I help SME business owners lead with courageous okay. compassion Alberta, to reduce Canada, conflict, Alberta, stress, Alberta, and overwhelm in their organization so they can have a more productive and profitable Alberta, business, better relationships with their team, greater well-being, and work-life balance. Or service but this will do for you. 
that comes from the if hospital. If you feel as though it is a constant or battle to manage to staff effectively, the customers they cannot stay competitive in an ever-changing market. Content, I can help you move being fed up seven, dealing with difficult eight, staff, struggling to hold people to account. It would be easier before, to just do it yourself. Finding the to-do list is endless and overwhelming. To developing great relationships with your staff, increasing staff satisfaction and loyalty, having a team working for themselves with a clear objective, and ultimately increasing sustained profit profitability for the organization as a whole. You don't need broadcast quality. What makes me different. My enlightened leadership program takes a unique approach to the development of leadership and is based on over 30 years of successful experience. The program is not a quick fix, but embeds change for ongoing upward success. You will be challenged, but you will receive plenty of support along the way. What others are saying. Gina understands what it takes to produce results and lead effectively. More than that, she brings an ease of communication without compromising on straight communication as her focus. Some of my clients. Working with her brings an experience of working with a partner who is ready to roll up her sleeves and how to strategically communicate with their customers on video throughout the bar. Gina helped me develop different leadership behaviors and she provided invaluable support during my preparation for a public speaking engagement with senior private banking business leaders. Gina will help you reach your deliverables with exceptional results. Gina has made a bigger difference to my working life and the way I deal with things than anyone else I can think of. Described as mesmerizing by more than one person that I have introduced Gina to, her insight this is uncanny. Working with Gina's analysis is delivered well, in such a way as to hold your attention and focus, on TBI uh, focus and it on real issues. If you are going to spend time listening to anyone, Gina Gardner should be at the top of your list. How you can reach me. If you are interested in learning more, reach out to me directly here on LinkedIn or email me at, at genuinelyyou.com. Call me direct at 440-1206-230497 or schedule a call genuinelyyou.co. Wonderful. Okay, everyone take a nice deep breath. And now let's turn the volume up on the silence. So ask yourself again, what's calling me now? Okay, take another nice deep breath. Okay. Now we can return. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about this because I'm sure this was interesting <laughs> to um, experience and engage in. And am I correct about that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so one of the reasons why 
I took the time to do this exercise, which is actually really important because believe it or not, this is what we are constantly experiencing basically all day, every day, even if we aren't hearing certain things in the marketplace. You're hearing about what someone else does and, you know, all the different things. It's like a constant going on. And oftentimes it can be difficult to really hear what's really calling you in the moment because there's you know, so much of the container in which we have been, um, how, how can I say it, the way the entrepreneurial experience has been unfolding. and Exercises like fees, where you can introduce the duality, it is some disruption that's involved <laughs> as well to the mind, uh, because it puts you in a place to have to, to tune in to both in the noise and in the silence. And as I mentioned prior to even starting the exercise, that I'm going to be more focused on not necessarily making distinctions, so to speak, about what the what you heard or if you heard anything during the noise uh, versus during the silence. We're going to see how you, we can how we can leverage it all. So, if anyone wants to <laughs> share their experience first of what came up for them and just what they thought about that, whether you were weirded out completely or lost, <laughs> whatever, um, it's extremely relevant.